What's up? I'm celebrating. It's the 21st anniversary of Peter Jackson's first film. No kidding. I'll be 21 next month. Listen, when you're done here, I need you to finish those expense reports and clean this stuff up. Yes. Before Peter Jackson made Lord of the Rings, he made a remarkable little film called Heavenly Creatures. Before he did that, he made a gross-out puppet comedy called Meet the Feebles. But before he did any of that, he made Bad Taste. It was the first foreign film I ever really enjoyed. I can't believe I saw it 20 years ago. And I can't believe how well it holds up. The story involves four government commandos investigating an abandoned town in New Zealand. They uncover a plot where aliens are trying to export humans as intergalactic fast food. <laughs> It's a classic low-budget setup. The aliens take human form and only wear jeans and work shirts. What are you, dirty who is doing on my planet? The film combines sci-fi adventure with Monty Python-style comedy, creating what Jackson dubbed Splatstick. <laughs> Not only is Peter Jackson the writer, director, producer, and editor of the film, he also plays two of its leads. <coughs> Nerdy scientist Derek and mentally unstable alien Robert. Jackson also made the alien makeup by baking latex masks in his mother's oven. He was still living at home. In 1983, Peter Jackson was 23 years old, working at a newspaper office six days a week. Each Sunday, he'd go out with a 16mm camera and shoot all day. This went on for three years until the film was completed. The first half of Bad Taste can be a little bit slow, but the last 30 minutes are a non-stop series of shootouts, standoffs, and smackdowns. And when they do something like blow up a car, that's a big deal, because you know it's a huge chunk of the film's budget. That was my car! Bad Taste parodies over-the-top action movies, but at the same time delivers the rush and excitement of those films. Peter Jackson proves that sci-fi doesn't need a big budget as long as there's chainsaw carnage, exploding sheep, and lots of falling dummies. Watching Bad Taste now, it's fascinating to see how this young director would become a Hollywood powerhouse. That's why I guess they'll go on to something bigger next time. His next film is the dramatic ghost story, The Lovely Bones, and I'm sure it'll be great, but Peter Jackson will never make a movie like Bad Taste again. I'm Kevin Marr. I'll see you next week. <laughs> I know, I know. Look, I'll be home. I'll, I'm working late. <laughs>